everything is Chinese in Mandarin. So bear with me if my accent is not very accurate. Dai Zhao Xiao Yu Hao. Ho Zhao Zen Swin Xie. Apparently, that's my name. And apparently, it means my first name, Justin, means two things in Chinese. John, the third part, means handsome. <laughs> And here means smart. <laughs> I call Professor Chu Xiangyu, who is not with us today, the Dean of the Chinese College of Languages and Culture, saying at the opening ceremony that he was the oldest man in this room. Now, you also know, thanks to my Chinese name, that I am the most handsome person in this room. On serious notes, on behalf of all students on the study trial program Easter 2010, I would like to thank all the organizers of this tremendous, life changing, and once in a lifetime event. Before I contribute my thanks, before I contribute my message of thanks, I would like to apologize in advance if I do not pronounce your name correctly. First and foremost, our thanks go to all the distinguished guests, to Professor Xu Xiangyu, who is not here today, to Professor Liu Shangchen, head of Beijing Normal University and chairperson of the University Committee, Professor Chang Henshin, head of the Confucius Center, and Professor Hoff, who is not here today, Dean of the Faculty of Humanities from Manchester University. And you cannot forget, uh, Annie Taylor is with us today here, also from Manchester University. Without your determination and effort, this program will simply not succeed, let alone exist. Second, our thanks go to our hardworking language teachers of Mandarin. Myself being a teacher for more than 16 years in England, I can easily understand how hard it was for you teaching us. I am sure teaching us was, like we say in the United Kingdom, trying to get blood from stones. I <laughs> huge thanks for being patient with us. To our teachers, thank you. Especially if it's 
involves young people, the future of any nation. So it is in this context that welcome the two scholarships that Beijing Normal University decided to offer to this cohort of uh, the study China program. We thank you for that. To close my speech, I would like to share a story I came across last night. But before that, I would like to tell you what struck me when I landed at Beijing Airport. On my way to collect my luggage, I was looking at some of the many wonderful posters on the wall at the airport. One of them simply said, One World, One Dream. Now, coming back to my story. Last night, I was having dinner with one of my newly found Chinese friends. In response to the communication difficulties we were having because of the language barriers, she said something very fascinating to me. She said, I have got a dream. I asked, what is your dream, Miss? She replied, I hope one day the whole world will be speaking only one language. As you can understand, curious to know what that language would be. I asked, what language are you hoping the whole world to speak? Can you all guess the answer? I couldn't. She said that language should be should be, <laughs> should be, of course, Mandarin. Think of it. She was right. We just need to look at the size of the population in the People's Republic of China to agree with a lovely lady. Now, dear BS, can you see how lucky we are to be here in China studying Mandarin? My message to you all today is go on to the United Kingdom and continue studying Mandarin. It will definitely stand you in good stead. Thank you.